And it's sort of cool because you walk around and you like, you turn a corner and you don't really know what you'll find. Stace went for a little bit of a look and she came back with this enormous smile on her face, so. We said yesterday we were going to do a tour. We're staying in a really cool Airbnb. It's uh, like Scandinavian it's so themed. Cool. It's like white and minimal and like, these Everything really, we love it. Yeah, all the stuff that we love. Um, let's, let's jump over to it. Yeah, it's a small spot, it's a studio apartment, but it's honestly got everything that we need. So like, pretty much a full kitchen. You can do any cooking that you want. There's utensils, like these cupboards are just full of stuff. Anything that you would need is pretty much here. Um, bathrooms in there, like a work desk where we managed to catch up on some work and some emails. Thank you for some, <laughs> thank you Manila for some good internet. Um, like obviously all the plates and everything you need, but this is the sort of stuff we're talking about. Like cool light fittings, also like minimal and clean and tidy. And then you got a view from the 43rd floor here looking out across the city. It looks absolutely epic. Nice bed. A comfortable bed. And then like, this is shelving and stuff. I don't know what it is. And may maybe everybody else doesn't feel the same way, but this is honestly, this is just our vibes and that's why we really wanted to stay here. So as is a lot of the accommodation places that we stay, um, there's a link below if you want to book this place directly on Airbnb. The host, Mick, was honestly so, so nice. cool. And the location is really good as well. And there's a pool, which we should go and check out now. We've just seen, you can't, oh wow, I don't know if you can pick up on camera, there's flames coming out. Yeah, it looks like it's a building and all the traffic and everything stopped and it's just like bellowing out smoke all over the city. like from above. I think there's three different towers and I think from memory we're staying on this side one. So it's a really cool place that we're staying. We're really happy where we are and we're in a really good location as well. So what we're going to go do now is get coffee. As you guys know that's what we love and it's heading towards lunchtime. In fact it's past lunchtime now as well. Last time we were here there was a cafe called Wildflower and it was this really really awesome spot. Some really great looking like homemade stuff and the coffee was delicious. So we figure we'll start there and then sort of just see where the day takes us and explore some more of Manila. just as cool in here as we remember but as you can imagine cool and Instagram spots come with a price tag so I think we'll just share something and have a really nice coffee as well but back here where those lights and everything are this place is really popular for it's like um, what would you call it it's, it's treats and pastries it, it's a bakery Stace went for a little bit of a look and she came back with this enormous smile on her face so we'll go have a look at this and then I think we'll get some food and see what we can come up with Two Vietnamese lattes. What, what have you got drawn in yours there? <laughs> I had a, um, I think it was a panda. Panda, yeah. And then we've got a, yeah, chicken clubhouse sandwich with chicken, bacon, uh, egg, I think. Yeah, some some tomato, tomato and there's some sauce. And of course, fries. And some fries. This is genuinely one of our favorite coffees in the world because it's the flavors of a Vietnamese coffee, which if you've seen any of our Vietnam vlogs, you'd know we absolutely love. That's something like short with some condensed milk. Whereas this is like half latte, half Vietnamese. So you get like the milkiness of a latte, but like the caramelness of like the Vietnamese flavors. It's just, it's, it's the bomb. It's probably one of our favorite in the world. Do people still say that, the bomb? 
Yeah. It's a bomb. No one says it anymore, apparently. Forget about it. We like to keep things pretty honest. Um, and the good thing about Wildflower is the coffee. Like, that is honestly... So good. Probably the, the most amazing coffee we've had anywhere in the world. Definitely. We love it. The bad is that it's pretty overpriced. Really overpriced in there. And then they add a service charge. And the sandwich was honestly not worth 450 pesos. No. So it just... <laughs> <laughs> We're just sort of walking and talking about um, about Manila and reflecting on like how varied it is. You never really know what to expect when you walk in the streets here. You've got like parks in the middle of town, like behind me here, and then you've got just from where I can stand right now, you've got like businesses, fancy like uh, apartment complexes and hotels, and then here is like a gated community, massive construction, and then like coffee shops, and then there's like shopping and stuff around. It's like this really weird mixture of all sorts going on and it's sort of cool because you walk around and you like you turn a corner and you don't really know what you'll find but one thing that's common everywhere here and everyone from the philippines that has been here says as well it's just so much traffic <laughs> yeah I can so see much it behind you. but everyone's in pretty good spirits and you can hear there is some beeping for sure but like it's one of those things everyone's just accepted it yeah and so it's, it just sort of works but it's sort of cool we've been in a lot of places that haven't been very like city like other than our quick trip through malaysia but in the last six months we've you know, like we haven't spent much time in cities, so it's really cool to sort of just walk around. We don't really have much of a plan right now. We'll come up with something, but just sort of walking around and just taking in something different and something unique, and just kind of we're just we're just walking. So Manila is such a large, large city, and often <laughs> can't get my words out. Often the roads are so big that um, there's areas around town when you can't actually cross. You can't just cross the road because they're like three or four lanes wide, um, almost motorway-like. But no one's moving at that speed, that's for sure. <laughs> um, so you have to go underneath these little, like almost like subway-style systems, where you feel like you're going to walking down to a train or something. But all you're doing is basically walking down to go under a under the road and then back up the other side on like a I'm like an escalator thing. Well, we don't want this to be too much of a repeat of last time we were here, but it's literally... <laughs> this afternoon is turning into a literal repeat of what we did the last time. As a travel update, we are going to Taiwan next. <laughs> which is cold. Which is going to be cold and rainy, and we don't really have that sort of clothes. So the plan is we're going to head to Green Belt, and I need to get a new battery for this camera as well. So we're going to head into the malls here. If you don't know what the Green Belt malls are, it's a collection of four, maybe? Is that right? Yeah. Three or four different malls and it's just this enormous area and all these shopping malls interlinking and there's you've got your really fancy upmarket stuff and then your typical like low fashion or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how to explain this to you. <laughs> there's everything. I can see a Zara sign. Okay, so that <laughs> that sums it up. So I've just walked now through in between a couple of the malls and you'll be able to see what, what we mean. This side is one shopping mall, that's another one, and then over that side is another. And then in the middle there's this big like socializing area with like I think there's a church and stuff in there there's it's like a big big grassy sort of spot with a little restaurants and everything that you can hang out so it's like a they want you to spend the day People think about shopping in Southeast Asia a lot of, uh, I think, probably instinctively think like more Thailand. Thailand maybe is like the spot to go to, but because of Bangkok and the shopping mall that they have there. But the great thing about the Philippines is that one, they absolutely love shopping, that's for sure. Manila has so many shopping malls, everybody speaks English, and the prices are great as well. And they're like really nice, top quality. Uh, malls as well. We didn't last very long. We've been in like three stores and already Stace is googling like where to specifically go to find the shops that we want because we're just not that interested in just like aimlessly wandering around these enormous structures. <laughs> she doesn't look like she's found it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're wandering aimlessly around these enormous structures.
so we came here for a belt for me, some warm clothing for you, and a camera battery. And what have you gone and done? I got sidetracked. By, by what? Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but look how cool they are. That, was, that wasn't really part of the agenda? No. I was trying to think of an excuse, but... You could say we got lost. We got lost. We actually are lost, though. We're in this like maze of shopping malls. I don't know where we are, do you? I've got no <laughs> idea. I think we're in a different mall now called Glor... Gloriana? Yeah, that sounds right. They have vans here. That's all we know. <laughs> <laughs> I think the moral of today's story is if you need to do any shopping... Yes, come to... Well, we started out in Greenbelt. We went through two or three of them. A couple of Gloriettas. Then we found a van store. <laughs> That's all we know. We slipped over from there. <laughs> Day of doing like the same thing that we did last time <laughs> we were here in Manila. <sighs> anyway, I hope it was interesting seeing some more of what Manila and the Philippines looks like in the city lifestyle, which is a little bit different from everything else that we've shown of late, anyway. Yeah, um, it's weird to be in a city after being like beach vibes for yeah, so long. It's really strange adjusting to lots of people in like chaos. See, and that's cars why and I needed new shoes. Yeah, sure. City. Excuses. <laughs> Anyway, now that we've got our, uh, we're back in our accommodation, obviously, now that we've got really good internet in this little studio here, I think we're going to have a little bit of movie night, and we will catch you tomorrow when we do some more exploring of um, old towns and some really cool history and stuff that's going on in Manila. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the comments. Bye. Bye.